What up, Team Handsome Guy? Your boy Rhyme again here. Uh, today is Tuesday. I believe it's the 17th. Let me double check that. Yeah, Tuesday the 17th. Really? Dog's gonna bark. But uh, feeling a little under the weather today. Not exactly uh, sprightly. I had a little cold coming on. Not sure, but uh, gonna up the old vitamin C today. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys something that I do every morning. Um, it's like part of my routine. Um, a guy I really enjoy his, his creative work and stuff that he does is actually Casey Neistat. So every morning, um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I like sugar-free Red Bull. Um, try to only limit that to one a day. But Casey Neistat, his YouTube channel is right here. He's got one and a half million subscribers. He's really fucking awesome. But I really, I love watching his uh, YouTube videos. Um, you know, at some point in the morning of my day, it's like in my routine. Because it gets my creative juices flowing. And they're highly entertaining. And he's an amazing video editor. And now that I'm doing daily vlogs, I take a lot of stuff um, as inspiration for what he does. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't have a lot going on today, but I'm going to try to make it interesting for you. So I'll be back soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace. Yo, yo, what up? I'm back. I'm going to show you guys um, my morning smoothie recipe, uh, what I drink every morning. This is uh, whether or not I ride or not. Um, I, I was doing this a while back, but I got off track there. Um, but now I'm back on it. So, first things first, I use unsweetened sweetened vanilla almond milk. Boom. Fill it up about a quarter to half way. Then I like to take a big handful of spinach. Um, usually about a half a cup to a cup of spinach. I don't know, I don't get too uh, worried about it. So these I have like two of these a day. Um, if I'm trying to get my greens in. Uh, then what we have, oatmeal. Like I said, I don't really measure this out specifically. I know what a half a cup looks like, so that's what I use. Then the first step, gotta blend this part together. So I'll be back with that. I don't want you to hear the blender. It's gonna be All right, now we're back. So then that's like kind of a green goopy look. Now for the next ingredients. We're gonna do a whole banana. Gotta peel that. I really like this smoothie. Uh, my buddy Chris Barnard taught me about it a while back. It's just really good for my recovery after all the miles I put in. Um, I believe it, it's about five, 600 calories when all said and done, but it's just really good calories all the way around. Next up after the banana, a little tablespoon of Teddy Super Chunk Peanut Butter. It's just organic peanut butter. You'd be amazed how hard it is to find fucking peanut butter that doesn't have sugar and shit loaded into it. Incredible, the shit they try to put into our bodies. Now I'm not really anal about always being perfect with your diet, but still, like, the fuck do they put sugar in our peanut butter for? Then, last but not least, protein powder, one big scoop of, right now I'm using muscle milk, after this is gone, I'm probably gonna switch to uh, Vega Sport. Um, I tried it, it's really, really good. And it's like a vegan organic protein, it's just a little better for you. Um, not that I'm trying to go vegan or anything, I don't really care. I just prefer a good taste in protein powder that's healthy. So, that's it for the smoothie. I'll be right back and we'll give this a taste test. All right, that's it. Magic Bullet is done blending the concoction or the Ryan smoothie, whatever the hell it's called. It's really thick. I don't really put uh, ice into it just because it's already pretty thick. But uh, yeah, that's it. Really good. Protein carbs, a little bit of fat. Good breakfast smoothie. All right, guys. That's it for now. Talk to you in a minute. What up, Team Handsome Guy? As you can see, it's about, oh, I think about 8.30 p.m. And uh, I just uh, built a dresser. That was fun, well, like a uh, dresser like I, you know, from Ikea. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of the mob movie being filmed at the local cigar bar. I thought that was really awesome. They had like fake smoke going. Dude was getting all serious in it. It was pretty freaking cool. I thought it was awesome. But um, yeah, so anyways, on to more important topics. I wanted to answer a question uh, that I get, you know, that I got in the Facebook group, which if you haven't joined, grab, uh, hit the link below, join the Facebook group, lots of cool shit in there, and uh, to make this vlog value-filled, 
Uh, my boy Andrew asks, Ryan, how much time and money does it take to make a product? No, oh, I'm driving right now to go get Chipotle, so I'm gonna be mindful of the road and not wreck trying to read the question. But basically what Andrew asks is how much time does it take to make a product, market it, get it, you know, profiting, and making money from it? I'm assuming he means on the internet, which is something I have a little bit of expertise at, but he says, how much time and money does it take you to go from having a product idea, creating the product, marketing the product, and then making a profit. So, um, long story short is, that could be as much as years, or that could be as quick as hours and days. Um, it could be any number of things as far as how fast it could happen. But for me, creating products is very easy because I'm passionate about my subject matter, aka style, um, a little bit of fitness, personal development, uh, building confidence, charisma, all that stuff flows out of me. That's why I'm able to create so much content because I'd like to consider myself an expert on the subject. Creating that content is very easy. So that way I can make products very fast. I honestly can create a product in less than an hour. All it does is I have to turn on my camera. That's it. Then I upload it and then I edit it minim minimally and then boom, put it in my, my, you know, hosting service and then now it's available streaming so you could buy it. So for me, creating products is very fast. The hardest part is marketing. Now, when it comes to marketing your product, like I said, if you already have an audience that's ready to buy your product, it can be as a matter of minutes till you make your first sale. I fortunately have a decent sized audience, so when I create a product, they like me, they trust me, they buy very quickly. But <clears throat> if you're just starting out, you don't have an audience. So in, in reference, I personally would not create a product until I had an audience built up. Now, a lot of people say make the product first, then build the audience. You could do that as well. But in the process of creating an audience, you're going to learn a lot of valuable skills. You're going to learn content creation. You're going to learn how to read your customers. You're going to learn what customers want. You're going to learn how to market on the internet or, you know, wherever your, your chosen path is. For most people nowadays are marketing on the internet. But you're gonna learn a lot of valuable skills. You're gonna learn how to edit videos. You're gonna learn how to write blog posts. You're gonna learn copywriting. You're gonna learn web design, graphic design, all these tools and, and skills that you must have to successfully build a business on the internet. And that is where everybody fucks off and they think they can buy their way into all that. Well, you can. But when you're starting out, you don't have any money, you have to learn it all yourself. And that is hard to do, that takes time, it takes sweat equity, and that's what stops most people. So, in, a, in answer to Andrew's question, I would say that if you created one product and you went to work on building an audience, it would take you probably a year before you're making a solid profit from that business. Now, there's a lot of variables included. If you wanna buy your own traffic, buy, you know, pay people to promote you, there's all kinds of ways to do that, but in essence, you need to build an audience, and the only way I know how to do that is exactly the way that I built an audience, is make YouTube videos, provide a lot of value, build an email list, talk to people every day, dress well in all my stuff, practice what I preach, and treat people how I'd wanna be treated. So that's, that's my advice. I hope it helps you out. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, this vlog's going on pretty long. I'm about to pull up to Chipotle here in a second. I'm gonna get myself a burrito, and then I am going home to eat that shit and then go to bed. Got a, got a busy day tomorrow. I got a mastermind meeting in the morning. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Got a tattoo appointment at one o'clock. So I'm gonna get the hand done as long as my tattoo guy doesn't flake, which he's done before. And after that, I don't know. We'll see what the day takes us. I'm meeting up with, uh, at some point, Greg O'Gallagher from Kino Body. Um, is coming in for the Strength Camp Challenge, which I'll be taking you guys to on Saturday. But I've got a busy week ahead. So that's it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And Andrew, I hope that answers your question. And I hope everybody watching got value from that as well on how to market and create a product. So that's it. Have a good night. Peace.